econ students and welcome back. As promised, we are going to do some step-by-step -step solutions on the simple Keynesian model. Please note that we are going to look at three different examples, two of which were already given to my students. So if you're not one of my students, please feel free to join us in today's video. In our first example, the following was given. Calculate the equilibrium level of income if C is equal to 100 million rand plus 0.8 Y and I, autonomous I, is equal to 125 million rand. In order to solve question 1, we are going to use the following formula. This is important as this formula will be used to solve question 2 in addition to question 3. We state the following. Y is equal to alpha times autonomous A. Remember that alpha is our multiplier and for this formula our multiplier would be 1 divided by 1 minus C. And for autonomous spending A cap we will have A cap is equal to C plus I. Please note that for both C and I we are going to use C cap and I cap. C cap and I cap therefore signifies our autonomous consumption and autonomous investment spending. We are going to solve question 1 based on three steps. Step 1, we will solve our multiplier. Step 2, we will solve our autonomous spending. And step 3, we are going to plug it into our formula and calculate equilibrium income. Our multiplier is therefore alpha, which is equal to 1, divided by 1 minus C. Remember that C is our marginal propensity to consume, which is indicated by 0 0.8 in our consumption function. We will therefore have alpha is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.8. Alpha is therefore 1 divided by 0 0.2, which gives us a final value of 5. For our second step, we are going to calculate autonomous spending. A cap is therefore equal to 100 million plus 125 million. We will therefore have a A cap which is equal to 225 million. Once we've calculated our multiplier and our autonomous spending, we can therefore plug it back into our first formula. Alpha is therefore equal to 5 and autonomous spending is equal to 225. Now we are going to proceed to step 3. Y is equal to alpha times our autonomous spending. And we will now use our calculated value of 5 and our calculated value of 225 in our original formula. 5 times 225 therefore gives us our final value which is equal to 1,125 million rand. It's important to give your final value in the correct units, millions and rand. Okay, let's proceed to our ex second example. For our second example, the following is given. Calculate the equilibrium level of income. If C is equal to 200 million. Please note that C is C cap. We have a I cap of 400 million, a G cap of 560 million. So this is our consumption spending, investment spending and government spending. Additionally, you are given a C equal to 0 0.6 and T equal to 0, where C is our marginal propensity to consume and T would be our tax rate. Similar to what we did in our first example, we will first state our formula. Our formula is therefore Y equal to alpha times autonomous A. Our alpha is our multiplier and our multiplier will be equal to 1 divided by 1 minus C. A cap, our autonomous spending on the other hand, 
would be C plus I plus G. So it is going to be A cap equal to C cap plus I cap plus G cap. And we are going to use the exact same method. Step one, we are going to calculate the value of our multiplier. Our multiplier is therefore our first step and it is alpha is equal to one divided by one minus C. Alpha is therefore equal to one minus 0 0.6. And this gives us a final value of 2.5. Once we've completed step one, we will proceed to step two, calculating autonomous spending. A cap is therefore equal to C cap plus I cap plus G cap. A cap is therefore equal to 200 million plus 400 million plus 560 million. For autonomous spending, we will have a final answer of 1160 million. And now let's proceed to step three. We are going to plug our calculated value for our multiplier and autonomous spending into our original formula. Alpha is therefore 2.5 and A cap is equal to 1160. Step three will therefore be Y is equal to alpha times autonomous spending. We now know that the value of alpha, our multiplier, is 2.5 and we will multiply this by autonomous spending which is equal to 1160. Our final value for our equilibrium level of income is therefore equal to 2,900 million rand. For our third example, we are going to only change the value of t based on our second example. We will therefore need to calculate the equilibrium level of income if C cap is equal to 200 million, I cap is equal to 400 million, G cap is equal to 560 million, our marginal propensity to consume is equal to 0 0.6 and now the value for T, our tax rate, is equal to 0 0.2. Similar to our previous examples, we are going to use the exact same formula. Y is equal to alpha times autonomous spending. Since autonomous spending did not change, the only variable that did however change is our multiplier. The new formula for our multiplier will therefore be alpha equal to one divided by one minus C in brackets one minus T. Alpha is therefore equal to one divided by one minus 0 0.6 in bracket one minus 0 0.2. Remember that we should first solve the brackets and then multiply our 0 0.6 with our brackets. Therefore, we have 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.6 and our brackets answer 0 0.8. If we multiply 0 0.6 with 0 0.8, we will therefore have 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.48. Our final value will therefore be 1 divided by 0 0.52 and this would give us a value of 1 0.923. For our example, we will therefore only use our answer rounded off by one decimal, which would give us a 1.9. The new value of our multiplier is therefore 1.9, and we will plug this into our original formula. Now, step 3. Y is equal to alpha times autonomous A. Our new multiplier 1.9 and we will multiply this by our 1160. This giving us our final value of 2204 million rand. And that concludes our lesson for today. 
Thank you all for watching and I'll see you again next time.